Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about planning a trip to Greece. I know when I was planning my trip in September, I had so many different questions like how many days should I visit? What islands should I see? How much is it going to cost? I had all these different questions and I didn't find a place where everything was all put in one place. So in this video, I'm going to hash out all these details. If you're interested in knowing how you can plan a trip to Greece, keep on watching. So the first thing you're probably going to need to know is what islands to visit. So when I was doing my research, I went to Pinterest, I found some inspirational images, I like had to figure out where that beach was and what island, I'm like that one is definitely on my list. I also checked out different kinds of blog posts and other YouTube creators just to kind of get a gist of like what kind of islands I wanted to see. Greece has hundreds of islands to visit. The choice to narrow down does become a bit difficult. However, I find it best to kind of group your vacation in with islands that are close together. So for example, it was my first time to Greece, so I knew that I wanted to go to Santorini. So I looked at a map and figured out what islands are close enough to Santorini that I could take a ferry to that wouldn't jeopardize lots of travel time in between the islands. Because it was my first time to Greece, I knew I had to go to Santorini, like that was not a question. So I for sure added Santorini to my list and I added in Mykonos because of course I had to see Mykonos as well. It's your first time to Greece, right? And then I added in two other islands, Milos, which was so epic the beaches there are amazing and then i went to paros which was kind of like a mini santorini a bit more laid back though but tons of cool restaurants and bars so just one thing to note each island totally has its own vibe and it's like kind of hard to explain but they're not all cookie cutter Greek islands. They're totally different. They have different cuisines, different kind of culture, and it's awesome to see the differences between them when you get to travel around the islands. Once you have your list of top islands that you want to see, you're going to have to figure out how many days you have on each island. I would recommend a minimum of three days on each island. Of course, I would recommend more just so you have enough time to really see it and get that whole experience. So if you have a two week vacation in Greece, you could definitely see two to three islands. You could push it for four, but just note like adding in islands just takes up time in between your travel days. If you have one week in Greece, you could probably do just two islands. I wouldn't even try to do three. The next common question that I was trying to figure out was if it's better to take a plane in between the islands or should you book a ferry in between the islands because if you're traveling during a high season it's definitely best to book these in advance. If you're flying into Athens and starting off your trip there I would highly recommend just flying to the next island that you're going to see otherwise you have to leave the airport and get into a ferry port. A ferry from Athens to Santorini I think is about like five or six hours. A ferry from Athens to Mykonos is about two hours. Flights in between the Greek islands are about 45 minutes, even though you have to wait two hours before the plane at the airport. The flight itself is so fast and it's just an easier way to get to your first island. Once you're on your first island, I would take a ferry if you are going to want to island hop throughout the islands. The ferries are a bit more expensive than the flights, but you don't have to be at the ferry port two hours in advance you could totally show up 30 minutes before your ferry is about to leave and just get on also your bags are included in your ferry ticket so you're not going to be paying extra for any bag fees be sure to take necessary medication if you do get seasick another thing to keep in mind is that the problem within the Greek islands is that it can get very windy and they will cancel flights and ferries if the waves are too choppy. It doesn't happen a lot, but it's something to keep in the back of your mind and that it may be canceled and you're going to have to have a plan B. The thing is though, if you're going to the more popular islands, you'll have more ferry options. So the ferry from Paros to Mykonos was a huge ferry. We're just so amused at this ferry because it's so big. We were traveling on these tiny tiny little vessels. <laughs> <laughs> this is really big. It's like a cruise ship. People are looking for their seat, but you don't need to do that because there's, there's plenty no of one here. Seats. <laughs> it was like three stories high, carport, everything. It was packed. 
with people. I want that for So to sum that up, if you're flying into Athens, I highly recommend flying to your next island. Once you're on that island and you want to island hop, I would recommend ferrying your way within the Greek islands. Okay, so once you have your islands picked out that you want to visit, your general plan of your island hopping, now it's time to book your accommodation. So one thing to keep in mind when booking your accommodation is that the hotels in Greece are more family run and small boutique hotels versus like here in the US we have Hilton, we have Marriott, we have these big big chains. In Greece it's more about like a boutique experience and like FYI the Greek hotels are amazing. Like the decor in the hotels I'm just like because the inspiration was just so strong in Greece. So kudos to Greece for amazing hotel decoration. Okay so because they're smaller hotels their room inventory is a bit less so if you want the best deal and just look ahead in advance to book how to get around when you're on the island so this varies definitely between different islands for santorini i don't think it's necessary to rent a car but if you're going to milos which is a bit more rural you 100 percent are going to need a car so it really depends on the island and your itinerary that you want to do I did rent an ATV for a day in Santorini because I wanted to see what the other beaches were like and kind of get out of Ia, which was really, really fun to do. If you're on an ATV, just stay to the right side of the lane because the cars are going to pass you because the ATVs don't go that fast. And the cool thing though about the ATV is that they do have some storage. I didn't even realize if that was going to be a thing, so you could totally bring a day bag. One thing to note, if you plan on renting anything in Greece, ATV or car, be sure to have an international driver's license. It's literally a $20 document here in the US. You can get it at your ADP office. It took me five minutes to get. It's 20 bucks and it's just better to be safe than sorry. When to visit Greece. So the best weather and the least amount of crowds will be just before high season and just after high season trickles off. So normally that would be May and September. I went in September and the weather was absolutely perfect. It was actually, it was hot. So definitely don't think that September will be chilly at all. So now I'm going to go into detail on how much things cost when you're traveling to Greece. So this also varies again. So in Mykonos and Santorini, I was definitely paying a bit more for everything. So for example, in Mykonos, I went to this very popular bar called 180 Sunset Bar. It's basically like the most popular place to watch the sunset. So I knew I really wanted to have like a front row seat just to take in the experience because I don't know when I would be back to Mykonos. It was a 50 euro minimum per person. So I was with Alcenio and it was 100 euro for two of us and the drinks there were like 18 to 20 euro. We're gonna be drinking. Might as well just have two drinks each and some snacks and like have a really really nice table view and whole experience. So that was one place where I kind of did a splurge and also in Mykonos I splurged on a full day catamaran tour and they picked you up at your hotel. They drove you to the port which was about 30 minutes away you had an all-day semi-private catamaran and we sailed through all the South Point beaches in Mykonos. We then sailed to Delos and then we parked on this like deserted island. Open bar, snacks, they cooked us a lobster lunch with pasta. It was probably one of the priciest things I've did in Mykonos but it was super epic and amazing. <laughs> Whereas in Milos, I was sipping on two euro wine. So like 
you know, it was totally a balance. Very expensive and very affordable. It definitely varies on what island you're visiting. Oh, just a little tip. Be sure if you are booking your ferries in advance, be sure to print out your ticket if you can. They won't give you your actual ticket, I believe, until like the day before. And some hotels don't have any printers, but if you can print it, print it out in advance just because you're gonna have to pay a small fee at the ferry port. Sometimes those offices are a bit hard to find. You have to just kind of ask around a few people to see where you can print out your ferry tickets. But other than that, the ferry system was great. I hope I answered some of your questions when planning a trip to Greece. I know it can be a bit confusing, especially when you're planning logistics part of it. You know, how many islands to see, how many days do I have? Just keep in mind those island transfers do take about half a day. So if you only have a week, you don't really want to be spending too many half days transferring islands. And it's also super exhausting. You, gotta take, you have to find um, transfer services to your hotel. Should you rent a car? All these questions you have to ask. So to keep it organized, and I always print out information that I find so I have that on me because sometimes you don't know if you're gonna have Wi-Fi or not. So. We can plan our trips to Greece very, very soon because I know the Greek islands are all waiting for us. So hope you guys have a really great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and check out my other Greece videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.